I want to talk about creating a form right now in Access. This is a table and let's say we want to do a form. We're going to talk about customizing the form. So what we're going to do, I have this selected here. It doesn't have to be open. I just, I'll say yes. What I want to click on is create. This is highlighted. I am going to say form. It's been created. I want to talk about doing some customization. So what you can do in here, you could change the fonts and a bunch of things here. Let's say I want to move things, add a push button, change the design. What I could do right now, I could click on themes. If I click on a different one, it changes the appearance immediately. You could find one that you like. You could change the fonts. And what I could do here, I could make these larger. I, I clicked on the first one. I held the shift key. Everything went down there. I'm going to click on the word format. Let's say I want the font a little bit bigger. I could make it bold. If I want spaces in here, I just click here, hit the space bar. I'm just going to do a couple of them. I don't want to make this a long, tedious tutorial. You can add fills, other things here. What I want to do now, I want to get more intricate. So I am going to right click inside the tab here. I am going to click on design view. If I go in here and I make it narrower, they all get narrower in that column there. Again, I could hold down the shift key, go down to there. or just hold down the control key and select and again I can make the font a little larger if I want make it easier for a data entry make it 14 even and we have that we could change colors backgrounds again just to be redundant what I want to do I'm going to click down here pull it down I made that wider go down to here and what I want to do Let's say I want to pull a bunch of things down. Like in PowerPoint, you have a bunch of objects. I have to be careful when I do this. I went into here. I want to pull it down. I want to pull it down. Watch this. I have to be careful with that mouse. It's not pulling it down. I will go into this right now. I'm going to select these two items. What I'm going to do, I am on the Design tab. I should have said Arrange. I'm going to click on Stacked. What it did, it pulled them up to the top. I still want it at the bottom. I pull it down. And then it, you have to go back and forth with this. I am going to click on Stacked again with just that one there. It pulled it up. I am going to make it smaller. I drag it underneath here so that way when I do the data entry it's going to show the field name of elf will go into that in a minute if I want to change the font in here and I want to make it larger again and I want to add a graphic I can go into here pull it in change the font I click on format make it red I could change the font style so I got some funky nice thing here I don't want that industrial looking thing over there I just delete it the box is a little bit too small so I just pull it down now let's say I want to put a picture in here I don't want a background image I'm going to click on design. I say insert image. It shows a picture here. What I do, I hold the mouse, click and drag a shape similar to what I saw. So now I have a little Santa. Next thing I want to do. I want to put some push buttons here. So that way, I'm just going to go into data entry view or form view. 
looks pretty nice we have things arranged you could move it it does take time I'm going to click on view go back into design view this is a very cool feature so what it I want to do here I'm on the design tab in design view and you've got this XX here that is a button I am going to drag and draw a little rectangle here these are things you can do I can go into record op operations let's say I want to delete a record I click on delete record next step I would prefer the text or I could actually choose in this case the trash can I'm going to go to next and I could just call this delete record it's a file like a file name and I've got that little graphic there the garbage can I can make it bigger it's kind of tiny on this screen what I'm gonna do next I am gonna click inside here I'm gonna drag and make I'm gonna try to make them all the same size and what I want to do record operations I want to say let's say I want to do a print I click on next I'm going to use a text this time easier to read so I've got that button there I could change fonts and get fancy let's go to the next one here 3x's click highlight what I am going to do form operations here report operations you would put that on a port report you can quit the application miscellaneous and let's say I want to go into record navigation I could go to the first the last record here I could find a record let's say I want to get to the beginning go to first record take it slow and easy we're going to size this in a minute here I'm going to do one final one I want to do the one to add a record that's a nice feature here you could always hit the thing at the bottom here I'm in record navigation here record operations form operations report operations at miscellaneous that's application mis miscellaneous so I can go and do a bunch of things add new record next let's say I could say add you can put change the text here add new child to the Santa database next and I'll just say add record so I've got that it says add new child because you have to be under 14 to believe in Santa so I've got a whole bunch of things here it looks a little bit of a mishmash I'm gonna click outside didn't mean to do that go here they're all highlighted now what I want to do here I want to do some alignment make them match and everything format I could go into shape fill let's say I want to make it red I did that way too bright so I don't want to get too crazy with this now what I want to do here arrange and to do this size space here I am going to say size fit to tallest you're going to see that it's matching this here I'm going to go into size here we did that and I could say to narrowest makes them narrower I'm going to go to align go to grid here size space equal horizontal equal vertical ooh, ooh, I didn't like that one we're going to undo
go back into here. You can do a bunch of things here. I'll just do one more thing here. Size, space, equal horizontal. I'm going to click on a line, top or bottom. They all match. So we will go. I'm going to save this. You can't have two thing, objects in here. I'm doing this as a review here. I am going to call this Santa's list. It has a one there. Custom eyes design. Go into the data sheet view. Form view. You've got that. Let's say I want to add a new child. And I could just say Dave. Smith Crestwood boy three he was not a good boy toy requested hot wheel make up a social security number the gobs and formatted and he's assigned to elf number one so we've got that I could say add new child or I could just hit the um, previous one here. I'm in Dave Smith here. I want to get rid of him. I got that little garbage can. I'm going to delete it. You can't undo that. We have done the design of this with a customized form.